Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing this evening? Today is Vlogmas Day 23, so that's ornament number 23. And today is also Whip Wednesday, so I'm going to show you what um, I have uh, gotten started the other day. And I'm going to show you the one that I started, what, three weeks ago that I've been showing you, you the squares of. And I finally got it finished, so I'm going to, I'm just going to do it at the end of, of um uh, talking about the ornament and stuff here instead of making a separate video for for this one anyway i have my little helper here he's snoozing right now and my other one he's up there you probably can't see him he's hidden behind that pillow <laughs> okay well today this one was really uh, a fun one to make it was cute or it is cute and uh, it was really easy and it's also it was a free one and so here it is. It's a little soldier ornament. Isn't it cute? <laughs> um, I had a lot of fun making this one. I've never made one before, so this was my first one. And I can just see a whole bunch of these hanging on the tree. Just really super cute. I did it in um, Mainstay in the black. And that's Mainstay in the yellow and the red in the blue and the white and then I did the uh, this is Hobby Lobby I love this yarn in light peach and then he's got his little safety eyes and he's got a little uh, little embroidered um, mouth there actually I just took yarn and divided it and did it like that but he's really cute <laughs> But uh, I'll put a link down below in the description box if you'd like to try to make one. And it's by Erica Dietz, I do believe is how you say her name. Okay, now my next uh, thing I wanted to show you is not actually, it's vintage, one of them is. I don't know about the other one. And it's not, it does, one of them, you know, looks Christmassy. The other one, it doesn't. <laughs> But I still use it as part of my Christmas decor is what I do. And let me get them over here. Now, the first one I'm going to show you, uh, I had actually found a couple online. And I was had been was tempted to uh, purchase them. But something told me not to do it. And so about two or three days later, I end up going to a flea market. And I end up finding them there. And here it is. It is a, let me get this right, Anchor uh, Hawking Cup, coffee cup. It's made out of milk glass. And the reason I really wanted this is because I love cardinals, and it's got a cardinal on it. And then it's got the Oreo, is that how you say it? Bird on the other side. And I just think they're so cute. And there's others. I know there's one that's got a, a blue bird or a blue jay, but I can't remember what was on the other side of those. But this is the one I was mainly after, and I happened to run across two of them. And I believe I paid like $2 a piece for them. But what I do with it, I don't use it to drink out of because it's not really um, quite big enough for the coffee that I drink. I use a pretty good size mug the biggest part of the time. But what I do is I hang it in my Christmas tree. <laughs> I just hang it on the branch and just bend the branch up and there you are. And it's because I have a lot of red birds in my tree and I just love the cardinal. But I think, I'm not sure what year this one is, but I'm thinking it might be the 60s. I, you know, I could be wrong, I don't really know. I just know it's an uh, it's vintage. Okay, and then the next one I'm going to show you is one that I found in the box of stuff that I had mentioned before in one of my other videos of uh, the goodies that were in the box at the Goodwill store. And let me take the one thing out of it. Here it is. Um, now this one was um, I use it as part of my Christmas decor because it's, you know, the red and the white. And I don't know if it's old. I know it's crackled like, but, you know, I know they do that with some of the new stuff too. But um, 
there was a tag on it that I can't, it didn't, I don't know if that was just the price or but if it had anything on it, I, I don't see it anywhere. But uh, it's almost like a coffee cup or maybe a soup type bowl. But it's big enough to where you can use it for like a little candle. And that's what I do. I just put this little candle thing inside of it and set it on my little end table and put it there. But I just thought it was really cute. It's got a real cute scallop little edge here. But I thought it screamed Christmas because of the colors and it just, it goes with how I got things decorated. Okay, well that's my little vintage uh, find that I want to share with you. I have one more vintage thing to show you, but I'm going to show it either tomorrow or the next day. Okay, now my whips. Or I got one whip and I got one finished object. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the whip that I've got going and it is a got my notes laying here it's a uh, elf it's called elf amigurumi the pattern and it's by loops in love crochet and it's free on their blog and of course i had to make me another elf because i've got the girl that's back here that's uh sarah from posh Poosh design that's her uh pattern back there and that one was a lot of fun to make but i've got him resting inside of my my uh bag here my little snowman bag skiing snowman i do believe yeah <laughs> but anyway he's in here he's in pieces right now but the, his here's his body and i did it in um mainstay red and then i don't like a lot on it i just gotta whip up the hat here's his little head which actually i think in the pattern she has it to where this is the top is where the hair is going to go, where you close off. So, I don't know. We'll see. And then, I got his legs. Both of his legs and his little arms done. And then, I still got to make his hat. But, that's what I have done on it so far. But, it's a real easy pattern. There's a little, there's a girl elf too that goes with it, but I wanted a boy to go with the, with Sarah over here. <laughs> but I just, I thought he was cute. And like I said, it's free on their blog. And uh, I'll put a link down below if you'd like to uh, try one. Hopefully I'll get it finished by Christmas, but I don't know. If, if not, that's okay. I'll, when, as soon as I get it done, I'll make a video and show you. Now, the next thing I want to show you is the one that I have been working on and sharing all the squares and stuff. And it's a pattern by, I can't really say the designer's name, I can't pronounce it right, but it's Rafa Musa, Rafa Musa Designs. And uh, this was the one where if you signed up to her email, you would get all the PDFs for free, but the cow's over now. And so uh, I'll still, I'll put a link down below if you'd like to go and check it out. Now, um, this I'm really excited about. Uh, I think it turned out cute. And so, here we go. <laughs> oh, I did the edge, the, the border in red and white because I wanted it. Oh, my kitty cat's getting up on the, on the bench here. <laughs> uh, I did the border in uh, red and white. Cause I wanted it to look like a candy cane stripe, <laughs> trying to keep her from going in front of a phone. Hop down, Allie. Come on, Allie. Here you go. <laughs> I wanted to do it in a candy cane stripe, so I just held two strands together and just did a double crochet all the way around. And I did it. That's how I did it here to join it. Just did double crochet, and. Uh, so, because I thought it would give it the candy cane effect. And I think it did. I think it turned out really cute. Uh, I ended up doing the Christmas lights, the snowman, and the wreath, and then the gingerbread girl. And on the back, I just started making one of the squares and just kept going until it got big enough to do a back. And on the inside, I just took some felt that I had and just hot glued around all the felt. <laughs> my kitty cat and then 
put the fiber filling in it, and then once I got it to the size I needed, I just hot glued it shut because I knew I wasn't going to be washing this pillow or anything like that. And I didn't really feel like getting my sewing machine out and whipping up a pillow form. I just hadn't been in the mood to sew. But I think it turned out really cute. Um, and I'm really happy with it. But the one thing that I did do that I had to rip it out and start over. And why I did it, I don't know. Because I had, I had already made up my mind that I was going to use the green on the Christmas lights wire. But for some reason, I did it in black. I don't know why. I think it's because it was laying there. But the whole time in my mind, I was thinking green. And then when I got done, I looked at it and I just thought, something don't look right because it just didn't look the way I wanted it to look. And then I realized I'd used the wrong color. <laughs> my mind was somewhere else. But anyway, I think it turned out really cute and I'm happy with it. And I can't wait to make a blanket. And I thought about next year what I was what I'm planning on doing, Lord willing, is I'd like to make um a throw and then maybe do one or two squares a month and then maybe just put some solid colors along with it. I'm not sure yet because I can't remember how many squares that it came with. I'll have to go back and read. And I don't know if I even got all the squares. So we'll see. But I think it's cute. And I'm happy with it. So anyway, that's what I have to show you uh, today. Um, if you'd like to tell me what you're working on, just put it down below in the in the, uh, disc uh, in the bottom in the comments. I feel like my phone's fixing to flip over because of my kitty cat messed with it. Anyway, I guess I'm going to hop off here. I've been super busy today. I, I ended up making the candy and it turned out really good. It reminds me of uh, peanut clusters that you get like in those box candies. It turned out really super good. I'm, I'm excited and I have been eating quite a bit of it <laughs> too much. But I know I'm going to be really extremely busy tomorrow and, and everything. So I'm going to hop off of here and tomorrow will be another day to show Vlogmas Day 24, number 24 ornament. And I guess I'll be chatting at you guys real soon. Y'all have a good evening. <laughs>